Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use and actually first install Launchbox for Dynamo. So I'm going to type Dynamo Packages. It's going to take you to dynamopackages.com and you see these packages are available for Dynamo. I'm going to go to Launchbox for Dynamo. And let's see, I'm going to go with the most recent version, which is 2018. So you need to actually go to the zip file. Uh, I'm going to extract this. And you see there are four files, right? So how about I make a folder? I'm going to name it as Lunch Box for Dynamo. I'm going to put these four files in this folder. We can get rid of the zip file. We don't need it. Now for this file, you need to go to drive C. So let me copy it or cut it. Uh, go to drive C. We're going to go to actually uh, users. Uh, I'm going to go to app data. Uh, let's go to roaming. Uh, let's go to Dynamo, Dynamo Revit 2.6 packages and I already have Launchbox for Dynamo because I have already installed but you need to copy your folder right here. Okay, so when you copy your folder here, when you go to Revit, let's say I have a new file, I want to go with default metric And uh, before doing anything, I want to change the units. I usually um, prefer to go with meters and three decimal places when I work with Dynamo. Dynamo is unitless, but because sometimes we have numbers between 0 and 1, meter makes more sense than millimeters. I'll go to Dynamo. I'm going to open a new file. Now you see the Launchbox tab is added to the add-ons because we installed it, right? So uh, let's say we have a wall here. I'm going to show you how to use a very simple model uh, with Launchbox. So I have this wall, right? Uh, let's say I want to pick the face of this wall so I can go with Select Face. Uh, which is available if you are more comfortable with the menus under Revit, under Selection. Select Face is actually somewhere in here. So we have this Select Face. I'm going to click here, click the surface. So now the surface is also created in Dynamo. And I want to go to Lunchbox Menus. I'm interested to generate or actually use geometry panel and I want to go to panel I uh, just want to show you something simple let's say uh, panel diamond let me maximize my page here so if surface goes to surface and I'm gonna actually hide this turn the preview off I want to assign some values to U and V uh, of course, you can use either a code block or a number slider. Uh, well, this can be integers because uh, it's the number for U and V. As you see, it only gets integers. So I can put this on one, let's say it's between 10 to like 40 or something. I want to have separate control on U and V. So I'm going to have two number sliders. Right. Uh, now, in order to see what we have here, I want to go with identity dot object, this one, right? So if I hide this one as well, I just want to see the product. These are the quad panels. You can get the points and everything, right? And now you see if I have 10 by 10 to assign to U and V, I actually have, let me see how many objects. We have 41 objects here. Right. Uh, if I increase this, of course, they're going to be more uh, compact. It's going to be denser. OK, so and then, of course, the number is going to be different here. Now, I want to first 
This is LCL211, which means we have a list inside a list. Uh, usually it's better to have one list, so I want to flatten this list. So if you compare these two nodes, you see this is L3, L2, L1, list inside a list. This is L2, L1, one big list. So I want to go with this one, and it has 78 members, this list. Now, so if I want to clear here a little bit, I want to say that this whole group here, if I make a group, is responsible to create diamond panels. Now let's say I want to extrude them, let's say I want to create some exotic kind of wall. So I want to go with extrude or thicken in this case. You see these are surfaces. For surfaces we can just go with thicken very easily. Um, I want to connect this item to surface. And now they are thickened by one meter in the direction of the normal of the surface, which in this case is actually this direction. Now, uh, let's say for the thickness, I want to assign a set of random values. So I'm going to go with random list. Because we are going to create like 78 random numbers, we're going to need a list. Whenever we're going to have more than one item in Dynamo, we need a list. So I'm going to go with random list. How many items do we want? We want it to be 78. But of course, if I change anything here, that 78 is going to change. So I need to have as many random numbers as uh, I have in this list. So I want to count the numbers in the list. So the input is list, the output is just one integer which shows the number of items in the list, which in this case it's 90. That goes to amount. This is going to create 90 numbers, random numbers between 0 and 1. I'm working with Revit 2021. In Revit 2022, you can assign a range of numbers, so it doesn't have to necessarily be between 0 and 1. That goes to thickness. And now you actually see that we actually have 90 solids and they are extruded by different amounts, so they go back and forth, right? So I'm going to maybe group these items, these three nodes. I want to say these are going to give me random extrusions. So I have 90 items here. I want to actually import them into Revit as one single geometry. So when you go with import, I want to go with import geometries. If I go by import by geometry, it's going to create numerous objects, but I want to have only one object. So I'll go with this one. Solid goes to geometries. Now it's all imported into Revit. I'm going to save my Dynamo file and close it. And I'm going to close this file, close Dynamo. In Revit, I actually even don't need the wall. I just want to show you how to work with this object. You see all the 90 elements are imported as one object. How do you take care of it? You can actually go to Manage, Object Styles, which is this one. Under Imported Objects, make sure to click on the plus sign, and this is where you can assign a material. Let's say it's some kind of a wood or something. If I put this on Shaded, you can see that uh, this is kind of a decorational wall um, that we created in Dynamo. If you import them as geometry instead of geometries, then each of them would be one element. So you have more control on like erasing them, modifying them, or assigning different material to each of the panels.